guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather and I am 28 weeks pregnant with twins, a little boy and a girl. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about how I am preparing for these twins, how we're preparing for these twins, what like practical things we're doing around the house and like in our lives. And then just like how we're mentally preparing things we're getting ready for, for the imminent arrival of these babies. If you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and that bell notification. So much is happened already and is going to be happening soon <laughs> with these babies. So you don't want to miss out. Now we are in week 28, which if you've been keeping up, then back at like week 21, 22, we didn't know, my doctors really didn't even know if the babies were going to live at that point. We are now in week 28, which is a major milestone for any pregnancy, especially a twin pregnancy and especially my specific pregnancy when X, Y, and Z have gone wrong. This has been a really tough pregnancy. It's just so different than what I thought it would be. I feel like turning 28 weeks, like Thanos snapped his fingers, like so much changed. In a day yesterday, I felt like so much bigger. I'm a human bounce house, so much movement. And frankly, these babies could, like my water could break tonight. And then all of a sudden I'm having these babies or we could make it a handful more weeks. But I wanna talk to you guys about what we're doing to prep for little babies. Okay, so first I wanna talk about like the actual practical things. We are just about in the month of April now. Baby's due date is June 20th, but they won't let them stay in past the first week of June. That'd be like 38 weeks. And they're most likely coming sometime in May. Hopefully not April. April is kind of like crunch time. Like if we're doing stuff, it needs to be done in April. So there's a handful of household things that are a priority to us. I would be doing this if it were one baby or twins, so. Uh, when my mother-in-law was here a few weeks ago when I was really on bed rest, she like took apart our whole fridge, deep cleaned our fridge. Definitely made a huge difference, a priority, but this whole list are thing, it's a, things that we really want to get done, but we know once babies are here, just it's not gonna be at the top of the priority list, even though it does need to get done. So deep clean the fridge. My mom is coming to help us like reorganize our pantry. We're also going to be doing a deep clean of our carpets, like a wet back carpet, deep carpet clean. And we're doing that on our couches as well. I'm also going to be getting my car detailed, like a deep clean interior of my car. Get it spick and span for these babies so they can get it all messy again. We aren't doing any sort of birth classes. At least we're not planning to. Because of COVID, there aren't any in person. And you can pay to do like online courses. But if you haven't heard of this thing called YouTube, there's a lot out there, a lot of information, and we have watched a ton of YouTube videos. Alec has really been loving the channel Dadverb. It's a dad who makes videos testing baby products or just talking about fatherhood, newborns. It's been really helpful for him. We'll learn as we go, but we're just trying to go into it prepared, especially since there will be two. The one thing we are doing is reading up on the taking care of babies sleep. Course. We're going to try to do that with our twins. I know this is something I was going to talk about later, but I know in like the first month at least, like you can't get them on a sleep schedule, even two months in, like it just really depends on the baby, but we're going to try to keep them on the same schedule and on a schedule as early as we can, both, I mean, for them, but really for us and our sanity, you just have to be really scheduled when you have twins. Granted, of course, with flexibility, like they're little tiny babies. It's not all gonna go according to plan, but we're really trying to get ourselves prepared for a schedule so we don't lose our minds. And then the last thing I've been doing is talking to a lot of twin moms I have found on Instagram that I'm following now. And it's been really helpful just to talk about their experience. So many directions that a twin pregnancy, twin birth can go. So it's just been helpful to feel educated by like real people talking to them, just being honest and open. And that's what I'm trying to do with all of you here as well. So as far as like my mindset preparing for twins, I'm preparing for chaos like the first month or two, which kind of brings me to my second point, which is we're going to attempt to have some semblance of a schedule from 
the first day we're able to bring them home. We have to, like if one baby wakes up, you have to wake the other one up to feed them both. Otherwise you literally can't function. If you're literally up constantly, you will die. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to get us on a schedule. I haven't actually typed one out. It's again, a, gonna be a lot of trial and error, I know, but a big part of my mindset preparing for these twins is the unknown. The unknown with the NICU is a big part of it. I don't know whether they're going to be in the NICU at all versus I make it really far and they're fine and they don't need the NICU. We're definitely preparing ourselves for NICU time. Every single mother I have talked to whose babies are in the NICU say it was the most difficult time of their life. So just trying to be mentally prepared in case that is the path for these little twins. Yeah, and then another thing that we are trying to figure out is how we're going to schedule visitors. Of course, there's lots of people in our lives who are excited to meet these babies. It really depends, again, on NICU. If our babies are little fragile beans coming out of the NICU, I'm not going to be having people come over anytime soon to see them. And especially with like COVID and just germs and little fragile babies in like their first eight weeks of life before they can start getting like the vaccines that they need and stuff. This is a conversation Alec and I have a lot, like what decisions are we gonna make about how soon we feel comfortable with certain people coming to see our babies? It's a stressful conversation it feels like right now because you don't wanna hurt people's feelings, but your priority is your newborn babies and their health. So, and I think it'll be one of those things that we figure it out as we go. Just, I feel like the word prepare is being used a lot. There's just a lot to prepare for. I'm very excited to be having twins. I'm very excited to not be pregnant. It has just been really, really stressful and I, go to bed every night wondering if I did enough, if I had enough protein. It's really hard seeing my body changing and wondering what it's gonna look like after I give birth. I didn't ever anticipate being the kind of woman who loved being pregnant. I'm so grateful that I am growing to human beings in my womb right now. I've always wanted to be a mom, but I was never like, I can't wait to be pregnant. Like I was excited to hold my babies, but I think for obvious reasons, it's just been a struggle of a pregnancy. I'm just looking forward to them being here, but a little bit longer because you're a little too fresh right now. <laughs> if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer them. I feel like there's probably more things I meant to say here, but I just get talking and if I don't write it in my notes, I will forget it. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day updates on how these twinnies are doing, how I'm doing, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.